profitable to be made to prove its truth in storm and wreck. What folly it seems to try to explain it away. Its keenest edge wounds nothing but that which is false and foul. I would sooner, Spurgeon says, be slain by the word of the Lord than to live by the lie of the devil. I just want to admonish you to realize that you are living in a day and age when the devil <coughs> is taking the day away from the church. I think I had about, yeah, and I have them all printed out so you won't have to turn to it. First Timothy 4.1 says, Now the Spirit expressly speaks, and in the latter days some will depart from the faith by giving heed to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. I know many that have left the Christian church. They were never in it in the first place, but they, they won't even come back to it because of the switching of doctrine. Second Timothy 4, 3 says, For the time will come when people will not endure sound teaching. Because did you know the teaching like this is boring in many churches? People get up and walk out on me when I speak like that. They say, that must be an angry man. It's a good thing you didn't sit under Paul. Gosh. 2 Peter 3.3 3 says, first of all, you must understand this, that scoffers will come in the last days with scoffing, following their own passion. That's why when I see them buy their mansions and their cars and all their monies and braggadociously boast on it, it is the most disgusting thing for a man of God to brag about material. Because a true man of God knows that the material means nothing in this life. It is a spiritual because we have become hedonistic in all that we do. 1 John 2.18 says, Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, so now many Antichrists have come. Protect yourself. Protect yourself, my friendly flock. Let me close by saying this. Viola Talbot is a great institution of Christian learning in our city. That's why I chose it over Fuller. That's why I chose it over Claremont. I chose Viola because of the education that you can get here in a conservative mode. I've accepted the invitation to come because I believe that the school is yet a conservative bastion in our town. You people are blessed. I'm having professors of such. My mind would yet be spinning if I had not come and spent many, many dollars and many, many hours sitting in these classrooms <coughs> getting this information. I had no idea that God would put all that information together and make me a crazy man in my community. <laughs> <laughs> Let me close with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to speak to these students of the word. Thank you for their teachers, for their professors, for their mentors. And I would pray as I take my seat that you would continuously work in me as I put forth your ministry, your truth. Keep this school, keep these young people's hearts <coughs> steady to the back. Never allow any of us to compromise what we know to be the truth. We ask it all in powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you very much.